The Cool Contraption Guy with Tom Fox, workshop editor for Boys Quest and Fun for Kids magazines, presents an amazingly simple remote controller tester. When your remote controller doesn't work, even after putting in new batteries, you don't know if your remote's gone bad or the gadget the remote is supposed to control has gone bad. This tester, which can be made in less than five minutes, will tell you if your remote is working. This is what you will need. A red LED, an infrared photo transistor, a snap-on 9 volt battery connector, a 9 volt battery and electrical tape. Also, a pair of long nose pliers will come in helpful. The LED photo transistor and battery connector can be purchased at Radio Shack retail stores as well as the websites listed here. Also, my website, MagicLandElectronics.com, is selling a kit of these three parts. For details, visit my website. The first step is to tightly twist together the shorter of the two wire leads of the phototransistor with the shorter of the LED's wire leads. Long nose pliers are frequently helpful here. If you aren't handy with soldering, simply secure the connection with a bit of electrical tape. Okay. As you did in the last step, twist and tape together the battery's connector's red lead with the LED's long lead. If the end of the battery connector's lead has only a short length without insulation, either remove a bit more insulation from the end of the wires or, as shown here, use long nose pliers to bend the ends of the leads to form little hooks and then to squeeze the two wire hooks together tightly with pliers. Also make sure you tape the connection to make it secure. Similarly, connect the battery's black lead to the longer lead of the phototransistor. This completes the wiring. Next we want to attach the wired parts to the battery, but before we do this, we want to insulate the battery by taping it. We put tape on the battery because many batteries have a conductive coating and this could interfere when we uh, attach the circuit to the battery in the next uh, step. This uh, circuit uses very little current and if you use it as directed, an alkaline 9 volt battery should last for years. Next we have partially attached the battery connector to the battery. Notice we only press one snap on the battery. We do this since we will use the battery connector as a sliding switch. To use the tester you apply power by sliding the battery connector so its unconnected contact presses against the unconnected terminal of the battery. It is best to test out a remote controller in rather dim light. It is also best if the distance between the remote and tester is less than half a foot. To test the remote, point it at the tester's phototransistor and press the button on the remote. If the remote controller is working, the tester's LED should light, either continually or flash on and off rapidly, depending upon the type of controller. Thank you for watching. 
I hope you will find this infrared remote controller tester helpful. I would appreciate it if you would look at my other YouTube videos on my Cool Contraption Guy and Magic Land Farms channels.